Hey, I hope you are doing good in this discussion. We will see how to use exist method and what is the purpose of the exist method. And in case you missed previous discussion about how to use unlink method, please check link is given in the description. If you want to learn more about Odoo, you can visit the Weblens channel. Guys, if you didn't subscribe this channel, please subscribe. It will help me a lot. In the home screen, you can see Odoo 17 development tutorial and right now we are working on Odoo ORM methods. By the way, this is the main playlist of the Odoo 17. So here you can see all the topics covers one by one and those three playlist is the sub topics which is available here also. All right. So let's back to our main topic. What is the purpose of the exist method? In our last session, I gave you one, one simple exercise right once i will try to click this button and we already we already use the static data right static ids you can see here so this ids in case not exist right so in the delete query sorry the unlink method you have to raise the exception so i hope you already done in case not that's fine in this tutorial I will try to explain you how you can do it okay so the first thing is using the exist method right let's say in the front end side I don't have to manage anything related exist method why because already automatically check whether this ID is available or else it will redirect to me uh, main menu screen or oh, let's say it's having a, this blank screen so let's say for example if I will use here 8000 and in case this record is not available you can see here by default it's giving me this notification right or in case I will refresh the screen you cannot see here all the data but again it's giving me here this kind of notification okay so like that way we have to also do something for this method okay so not here we have to use but once we are trying to perform that operation right the delete operation from here we have to maintain from here so here in this case we have to do like this for school in school underscore id right if not school dot exist right then we have to print here the statement let's say okay right now I'm trying to comment it out let me restart the service in case guys if you don't know how to configure or do in PyCharm like this way please check editor level playlist I already explained once I click so first thing is it will print the record set of the student profile right and after that it, we are checking here like whether the instances exist or not Right. So in this case, we pass here all these four para, uh, IDs, which is not ag actually available because these IDs we already deleted right in our previous session. So due to that, you can see here it we already have in the if statement. Right. And let's say what about the else statement? Else means like that record is exist. all oh, access school so here in this case I will try to add one more ID but I don't know that ID so what I will do is the first okay so here I'm trying to add one more one refresh this sorry restart the service right in a school profile and once I click here you can see this ID is available the record set ID right and rest these four IDs is not available. So 
here what we are doing is we are trying to arise one error message why because in the front end side here we cannot see which record is deleted or which record is available right so available records we don't need any confirmation because it will automatically delete but let's say for example if in case the record is not available right so in that case we have to raise the one pop-up message so for that like we have to import here that package so for that like we can use here odoo dot exceptions import user error okay and same we can implement here in our custom method so let's say user error right record set is not available So what happened is immediately the execution should be stopped in the line number 94. It won't be uh, go to again in a one more for loop okay or the next lines. So let's say if I will click here okay so here like I have to manage one more thing because I'm using concinet the thing is this is not a string because that's the object and object and string will not be concatenated together right so let's say if i will click here all right so it's not rise the error due to i forgot to add the rise method now you can see let me remove and now you can see invalid operation you can see and ra record set is not available wb.school65 so that means we have to check here and one more interesting thing is you can see only the print statement is available right not this one or not the else part the thing is once you raise the user error message so what happened is it will stop execution from line number 94 and for the lines it won't be executed and let's say before lines execution code should be also rolled back in case you perform any crude operation right for example let's say if you are creating here new record and uh, in this line number 95 it's rising this error message so that means the newly created record set is also rolled back from the database okay so that is the main purpose of the exist method forgot about this line this is some something like example I'm trying to give you only the you your main focus should be here the exist method so exist method whenever you are trying to perform such operations not the delete operation right after like creating the record it will automatically return the record set right let's say you are searching records for using the search method using the browse method like we are doing at the moment right randomly we are choosing the you can see ids which is not exist in the database but still odoo return the record set of those ids so to prevent such operations right in our further logics we just implemented a very small logic but what about like we have a lot of logic written in the specific method right custom method or the default method so what happen is in some cases it's rise the error to prevent such cases right so we have to use here exist method before using like object name right in this case our object is the school dot and exist so this is the default ORM method which will help us to check whether that record set is exist into the database or not okay
I hope you understood about this exist method. In case you still have any doubt related this method, please comment below and see you in our next session.